so yeah, I cut my hair. <laughs> That's what it looks like now. It used to be like, I'm overexposed one second. It's a little better. But it used to be, I think like, down to there and I cut off a good chunk. I was just going through it and yeah, I was just sick of my hair feeling like gross and I just want to get the blonde out as much as I can or as fast as I can so I can have my natural hair color so I don't have to worry about highlighting it. So what I mean by my blonde hair is, if you watch my older videos, I had blonde hair and I dyed it darker with a semi-permanent dye just because I couldn't stand constantly having to go get my roots done and just it cost too much money so I dyed it brown and so now the semi-permanent dye is washing out and the blonde is coming back through and so my hair is looking like copper just uh, this color that I don't really like so I'm just working on growing it out and cutting it out so that or I might do blonde myself, like little highlights in my bangs area. We'll see what happens. And like having roots and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, my sister's in the bedroom right now and I am planning on going to Walmart. So I'll see if she wants to come with me, but I'm already behind on my study schedule and it's making me anxious. I already woke up too late. I decided to sleep in and not wake up at five. I did that for the past two days in a row. So I'm not liking that. But so far, no headache. Mainly because I'm probably still stressed out. <laughs> yeah, if you didn't see my last video, I basically just talked about how every time I have a day off, I get a migraine. And I think it's something to do with being stressed out and then finally getting to relax. And then my brain just being like... So I'm going to go to Walmart and... I'll take you guys with me. That's my IKEA. IKEA. That's my Walmart look. <laughs> Pretty sure this is from Walmart anyway. Actually, no, it's Joe Fresh, Boohoo Leggings, and Fila Shoes. Okay, off we go to spend some money. It's awkward filming with my sister listening to me. I don't know. <laughs> Move these out of my way. my masks. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going to Walmart and a neighbor staring at me. I don't really know what I need. I need a few makeup items just cause so everything's kind of expired and I'm uh, really on the lookout for new mascara and maybe some new concealer. That's about it. And then I really want a new oversized sweater that's not gonna cost a lot. So we'll see what they have. Cause last time I checked, it was like still kind of summer, um, so they didn't have a lot of fall items. So we'll see how that is, and then maybe some food. I'm really craving some sweets, and that's probably because for Thanksgiving in Canada, I had, um, I went like off keto. I just had whatever they were making, whatever my family was making. So now I'm just struggling through like the crave, craving phase where I just want sweets all the time. So to combat that and make sure I don't like binge eat or anything like that, I'm just going to either buy some keto ice cream or some sort of sweet version sweet keto dessert or something like that um that will satisfy my craving my windows will not unfog that's annoying i'm just gonna start driving see what happens here
not touching my face. I'm home now and I don't want to get out of my car. I don't want to have to sanitize everything. But I am excited to show you guys what I got. What do you guys think of my hair? <laughs> I'm gonna help out. I was hungry. So I started eating one of these. It's very chewy. I've had these before tons of times. Basically, I shouldn't be left around snacks. I can't stop myself. Usually I like breaking these up or cutting them up and then putting them into the oven. I'm gonna try my air fryer when I wash the thing. <laughs> I cut my hair. And I did myself. <laughs> I was basically just feeling very blah. Well, first, my summatives, which is instrument um, testing. Did I even talk about this? I can't remember. No, I didn't because I was really upset. This is so annoying. So I was hoping to leave early, but I don't even know how to explain everything to you guys, but basically I ended up being one of the last, very last, second last person to finish on Friday, and I was very annoyed. I wasn't very nervous. I was nervous the first week of summatives, which was two weeks ago, but this time I was just like, I just want to get out of here. I want to get 10 out of 10 on all my instruments so that I can not have to come to school next week because I'm going to school tomorrow for probing and stuff like that, but... Yeah, so that was basically my entire goal. I was like, just pass everything, then you get like a four day weekend. And like, that was like what motivated me to do like really well on all of the instruments. But of course I hadn't eaten and it wasn't like, I maybe finished around 11, 11.30. Seemed earlier than that. Anyway, I hadn't eaten, I was just drinking coffee. And so the longer I waited, um, the shakier my hands got and I ended up getting tissue trauma which is an automatic unsat at my school because my hands were shaking so much and it was on the Gracie 1314. Sorry if you don't understand this yet but you will. It's the instrument that you only use on the distal of your um, posterior teeth. Anyway I got tissue trauma going sub G and yeah I was really upset because now I have to go back in for one instrument and if I get put last again, I'm gonna lose my effing mind. <coughs> All right. So yeah, I was very upset that day and then I just was like, I washed my hair and I was like, oh, I'm just so sick of like these split ends. Like I just feel all shaggy and just not put together. No matter what I do, I just feel so gross. So then I cut my hair. <laughs> It's been a little uneven for the past week since I got it, but my hair has been up in a bun, which is why I didn't care if I cut it. My hair is up every single day. Yeah, so I just evened it out this morning. There's still like a few bits here that I'll get my sister to um, cut for me because I can't reach back to it, but it's really loud. Oh. <laughs> So I went to Walmart as a continuation of trying to not feel gross to get new makeup and also just get out of the house because my anxiety, my anxiety was really bad on Tuesday, Tuesday and I was like afraid to leave the house. I took everything in me to like just even go to school. It was a nightmare. Thankfully though. Anxiety subsided and then I forced myself to go to Walmart today <laughs> instead of study just to show you guys what I got <laughs> To see if I can make myself feel better not feel better. I know Buying stuff doesn't make you feel better. Uh, it just meant like Just something fun to put on my face. You guys didn't know I was a makeup artist for eight years. I guess I still am COVID kind of cut that 
shit short, so <laughs> a lot shorter than I wanted to, but anyway. So I got this Revlon, I just opened the package, <laughs> Revlon Color Stay Micro Hyper Precision, Precision Gel Eyeliner in beige. I wanted to line my waterline and see if that works. Let's zoom in. Ooh, tickles, tickles. I'm kind of shocked at how um, nice this applies. See how long that lasts but in my kit I used to have one from NYX cosmetics that was when it was so hard to find beige eyeliner uh, pencils and I didn't like to spend a lot of money on pencils just because you had to go through them really fast so it wasn't worth it to me with my price range to be spending like 20 30 bucks on a pencil that would be gone within like three months so I stuck to lip liners and liners from drugstores and so far this is really good. Not disappointed in that. And then, I'll do this next. I should have done this first, but whatever. I got a brightener from Maybelline. It's the Instant Age Rewind Eraser. It's a little bit peachy toned. But not that what I'm doing right now isn't brightening my, underneath my eyes. I just... I always wanted to try it, but I just never did. So now's my chance. Yes, yeah, so it's the brightener. It's the number 160. There's no really. It's supposed to be uni universal. It's not. So if you have a darker skin tone, this might look ashy on you. Did I do too much? Let's hope this is not too dark. I totally was not expecting it to look like that. I am pleasantly surprised at how it came out. Okay, cool. I'm not mad. And then... I bought waterproof mascara for the first time ever like to use on myself it was the L'Oreal Carbon something something. It was dried out like as soon as I'd opened it so screw that. I tried something new. I wanted to get the L'Oreal Voluminous, oh god I can't remember the name. It's the one that comes in the pink packaging. It was cheaper, it was on sale but I don't want to get the product because it had all this extra useless packaging, it had like cardboard inside. And Give me a break, like just give me <laughs> some mascara with no extra shit inside, please. So I got the telescopic carbon black. Packaging looks like that. And the brush, I believe is plastic. Let's call it precision brush. I don't have a mirror, so I'm just using my Mm, yeah, it's maybe better than the waterproof. L'Oreal volume is something something that one. I swear I don't do it this <laughs> slow. It's just very bizarre doing it in the viewfinder thing on my camera. It has like a few seconds delayed. Ah, battery's gonna die. Let's go to the actual mirror. Okay, better lighting. I 
I actually really like that mascara. Hello. <laughs> so it's been a few hours. Update on the makeup, I really like it. The beige eyeliner is still there, mascara is still good. I didn't curl my lashes beforehand, so it's not really like it kept its curl. I have this like makeup eraser thing from Amazon, but I believe it's just like a microfiber cloth. I like everything down below, because I usually don't wear this much makeup on a regular basis, so I haven't used it with this much makeup, so I'm curious to see if it like truly works and gets off all that makeup. How many times can I say makeup? I don't know. I'm just opening up my voter package here. Mail in my vote because my province is having elections. And yeah, I just wanna get this over with. Yeah, I've been voting ever since I've turned 18. It is part of my civic duty, so. I don't wanna like it. I don't know if that was a smart idea. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I just took some oregano oil and I got some on my ballot. Got word. My marks for my quiz came out that I did yesterday that I totally forgot to mention that I had <laughs> to the quiz yesterday. <sighs> I, I passed. Yay, 82%. Not the hundred that I wanted, but that's a pass. <gasps> okay, so I can't see other people's marks. I can see other people's marks, but I don't know who they are. It's like a secret number that everyone has. And there's our passing mark is um, 70%. And there's some people that have 50%. Like, that's bad. Six people. Oh, that's not looking good. I mean, I get it. Like, I didn't do well on my midterm for a micro, which is like my worst class by far. Um, I only failed by like, oops, I only failed by 1% and that was because I was so nervous. Like it wasn't because I didn't study kind of thing. So, but to get, oh my God, to get 50%, I mean, not my problem, but I just feel bad. I'm like, can I help them? Like, <laughs> do they want to study with us? How do you get 50%? Oh my God. Hey everyone, so I've totally forgot to end this video. It's now two days after I filmed it, but update on the makeup. I do like it. Mascara is really good. This is after I've fallen asleep on the couch for about three hours. But other than that, um, I really like it. It doesn't dry out my skin. It feels good, natural, just what I'm looking for. And then I also use the makeup eraser thingy that I got from Amazon <laughs> and it's shocking how well it takes off my makeup and no tugging. I thought like you'd have to like rub your eyes and stuff a lot but really I just soak it and then hold it onto my eyelashes to get the mascara off just a few times and it's amazing. Like usually I wake up the next day normally with like at least a little bit of residue if I ever wear mascara. So I'm just leaving it here. Thanks so much for watching my video. I feel a lot better doing all these little things, little crazy things like cutting off my hair and buying new makeup. What a wild life, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, if you like this video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more from me, make sure to subscribe down below. I look forward to talking to you guys down in the comments below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.